Hey guys, Big HD here. Welcome to another reaction video of uh, the upcoming Nintendo Direct. Now there have been a lot of rumors that have been circulating left and right about what to expect uh, in regards to this presentation here. Uh, for the most part, I think there's going to be like some kind of a special thing related to uh, Zelda games. Aside from Breath of the Wild, obviously that has to make some kind of an announcement. Uh, I do believe there's probably going to be rumors about a potential um, potential re-release of maybe Twilight Princess and Wind Waker. Don't really know if that's going to happen. Um, who knows if there's going to be the possibility of a uh, of a Metroid Prime 4 announcement because that thing's been up in the air for the past few years. We don't really know what's going to happen. Um, there's also this huge rumor, though. I I am still a little skeptical about possibly f zero games being ported but <laughs> we'll have to we'll just have to wait and see it's really hard to really hard to predict because you know how uh, nintendo is uh in regards to f zero so what in regards to like um dormant ips in general they, they don't really show much love for for the older content they only focus on mostly mario zelda and pokemon uh, occasionally, if there's still interest in or, or a particular idea for another intellectual property that they have and they haven't touched in a long time, most of the time Nintendo just sends it to a second or third party and try to let them figure it out while Nintendo focuses on the publishing stuff. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I am I kind of acknowledge at this point that uh, Nintendo now is not the same as it was 30 years ago. They can't work on every game. I still remember that that story about a guy who actually like uh, invested like forty thousand dollars of his own money in, in some kind of like a Nintendo corporate uh, uh, corporate sales meeting or something like that, where the guy eventually like spent forty two thousand dollars, only for him to get a uh, a very superficial response from Nintendo. Like they're not the ones to decide uh, what games to uh, yeah to to make for the general audience. Well, technically they are, but at the same time, they're not always going to be focusing on uh, on games made 30 years ago. That's the unfortunate thing about being an F-Zero fan, because uh, they have uh, not made a game since 2004. And we're talking about uh, a game called F-Zero Climax that was Japan exclusive. And that was uh, a tie-in based on the anime. And I felt like the reason why the the F-Zero franchise has been left dormant for for more than 20 years at this point. Actually, it's 2004, almost 20 years. Yeah, it, it was because of the anime that kind of flopped, so that was the unfortunate thing. It just wasn't picked up in the U.S. Barely, like, for 17 or 18 episodes if it was on 4Kids. But uh, F-Zero, GP Legend, and F-Zero Climax were the two high end games with the Game Boy Advance. But uh, aside from that, there just wasn't much interest from Nintendo's part, and they had to uh, rethink their strategies when it came to like future uh, future consoles of the Wii and the Wii U. So, yeah, as an F-Zero fan, you feel really burnt, uh, butthurt, the fact that there hasn't been a game in this franchise in a long time. There have been a lot of references here and there, but we don't really know what, what to expect at this point. But when it comes to Zelda, well, just surprise me. Right now, anything is possible. Uh, Breath of the Wild 2, the more I see the trailers for Breath of the Wild 2, it just, it, it feels like it's inspired by Castle in the Sky. If anyone has ever seen the Miyazaki movie, I highly recommend it. Um, as for Metroid, Metroid is going through a, I don't know if this qualifies as development hell, but they haven't Oh, we'll see. But yeah, who knows? Metroid Prime 4. Let's hope if uh, they actually make an announcement. Surprise me. We live on the continent of Elios. Hmm. surrounding a holy land at its center. A thousand years ago, 
Our lands endured a vicious war with the fell dragon. We called upon heroes from other worlds. It's Monster Hunter, isn't it? Heroes known as emblems. With them, By your emblem. The of our nations fought as one. In the end, we were victorious in defeating I recognize Lin. The fell dragon. In the years since, our world has been safe. But now, I sense a resurrection. The binding weakens. What is this? Is this going to be one of those Fire Emblem Warrior games? I feel like it's just going to be another one of those spin-offs. Don't get me wrong, the whole Hyrule Warriors and Fire Emblem Warriors, pretty cool. Uh, who knows? Unless this is an actual Fire Emblem game. Marth? Fire Emblem Engage. You're awake. Huh? You're really awake, yeah? A thousand years? That's how long I've been asleep. What are those horrible things? It's a new Fire Emblem game, all right. You are a divine dragon. A member of a royal family of dragons revered as deities. Fascinating. Fell dragon. I feel like I can almost remember. To me. It is rather quiet, I know, but it will liven up. I don't really know what to ex what to say about this. I mean, it's great to see another Fire Emblem game, but Fire Emblem has gotten a, a mixed reception, mainly from the Fash community. But the games are really good. Uh, don't get me wrong. Sometimes a little too frustrating, if you ask me. It's Fire Emblem, but with newer bells and whistles. She asked me to gather all of the rings and bring peace back to Elios. Okay. Connecting with the past, literally. Intelligence systems. Pretty cool. Let's go. Hello, everyone. I'm Yoshiaki Koizumi. Koizumi san. Your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. What you just saw was the latest installment of the Fire Emblem series, Fire Emblem Engage. In addition to the standard version, we'll also be releasing the Fire Emblem Engage Divine Edition, containing collectible items. Please look forward to more information about this game in the future. Nice. Let's take a look at our first batch of headlines. Let's go. It takes two to tango. Cody and May's relationship is on the rocks. But it gets even tougher when they're turned into dolls. To get their bodies back, they'll brave an onslaught. Okay. We're working together is the only way forward. Parents become dolls and they have to with a friend in this critically acclaimed two player platforming adventure. Even the bumpiest road can be traveled with someone by your side. Venture through fantastical worlds filled with challenging experiences around. Looks neat, but I don't really know what to say about it. The game can also be played on two systems via local wireless or online with a pal. We cool. Have a free friends pass. Okay. Help Cody and May return to normal with a partner, of course. It takes two launches on the Nintendo. I think I've heard of this one before the before the announcement here on the Switch. Today on Nintendo eShop. All right. Let's see. What else? The forbidden story begins. Oh wow. They're back. Fatal Frame is back. But is this from 
After mysteriously vanishing as a child, Ruka Minazuki visits an abandoned hospital. Is this the same one that was on the Wii U? I've only played a little bit of the Fatal Frame games, and I love the atmosphere. I really need to dedicate more time to them. Yeah, this is the one from the Wii U. A dark curse looms near. What ancient rituals will be revealed? Fatal Frame. Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. Pretty sure this was on the Wii U. Next year. There's a new hero who looks mechanical? Huh. Introducing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 DLC. Of course, the game has uh, been released with rave reviews. So, Cyborg Waifu? Huh. Not surprised. Okay. Test your metal in consecutive battles against tough enemies. Defeat all enemy waves to earn rewards. I really need to dedicate more time on Xenoblade. To earn valuable accessories and special outfits. I'm only like familiar with the first Xenoblade, but the others no. Haven't played them. Xenoblade Chronicles 3 Expansion Pass launches on Nintendo Switch October 13th. Okay. What else do we have? Get drawn into these Nintendo Switch games. Nautical nonsense begins when SpongeBob and Patrick make a way of course. that unravels the very fabric of the universe. In this 3D platforming adventure, you'll travel through portals to seven outlandish wish worlds. Is this a new game or is this like some kind of an enhanced remake of an old one? Jellyfish fields. It feels new, actually. Wacky moves, don over 30 fantastic cosmic costumes, and meet your favorite Bikini Bottom residents from the TV series, voiced by their original actors. That's it. Soak up SpongeBob SquarePants, the Cosmic Shake, launching on Cosmic Shake Switch next year. Nice. What else do we have? You're all ready. Whoa! Fist of the North Star. With familiar characters from. <laughs> oh, that is awesome. <laughs> nice. Okay, that is pretty cool. Seems a little ridiculous, but you know what? I'll buy it. <laughs> Fitness boxing with. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they were literally doing that. What I was doing. Of course, a simplistic indie game, game here. Customize your character from head to toe with hundreds of accessories. Plus, challenge up to six friends and frenemies in local and online play. They won't even know what hit them. Oddballers launches on Nintendo Switch early next year. Huh. A small fox Benji. Another indie title, I guess. Brave the unknown in this isometric looks unique. Adventure I'll give it that. Your only clue here is the manual. Traverse the island's interconnected realms to retrieve its missing pages. Dangerous traps and even more dangerous monsters lurk around every corner. It's almost Zelda influenced. Secrets will the island reveal. Tunic launches on the Nintendo Switch system September. I think yes. The name Tunic is. The name Tunic is kind of a dead giveaway that it's a Zelda clone. Mission remakes. Four remakes of two front mission games ah. storming in. Nice. Front mission one remake. You'll pilot giant machines called Bonzers in tactical turn based combat. As you progress, you'll obtain skills that can help you hmm. gain the upper hand against opponents. You can also test your metal at the Coliseum. I feel like it reminds me of like Mech Warrior. Continue the battle in the sequel. Maybe some Gundam games here and there. Take advantage of additional features like more terrain effects, weapon and armor attributes, and over 80 new skills. RPG strategy. First game. Front Mission 1 Remake launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Front Mission 2 Remake will launch on Nintendo Switch next year. And in the future, a remake of Front Mission 3 will also launch okay. on Nintendo Switch. 
So far, so good. Let's see. More indie titles, I guess. Story of Seasons. Formerly known as Harvest Moon. Welcome back to Forgotten Valley. Here, you'll manage a farm passed down to you by your father. Man, the, the whole issue with Harvest Moon and Story of Seasons, it's such a mess. Like apparently what's um, Harvest Moon now isn't made for the same developers. But, but if you want to play a good um, a good farming simulator, this was decent, but of course Stardew Valley is also pretty good. Oh wow. Yeah, it's a life simulator then. Not just a farm simulator. An especially wonderful farm life in Forgotten Valley lies ahead. Okay. Story of Seasons. A wonderful life launches on Nintendo Switch. Summer 2023. Story of Seasons. So, yeah, SOS indeed. Oh, Splatoon here. Listen up. It's going down. Pepping the Splatlands... We are deep cut. Anarchy Splatcast. Here we go. Time for a Splatfest. The first post-launch Splatfest for Splatoon 3 has been confirmed. Here's the theme. What would Gear, you grub, or fun? Deserted island? Gear, grub, or fun? Good question. I'd say grub in this case. Gotta have food, just in case. Incredible possibilities. Which team will you join? And more free updates are planned for Splatoon 3. Be on the lookout for more info in the future. All right. So, Squids, what did you think? What would you bring to a deserted island? As for me, I've already decided. I hope you'll all participate as well. Hmm. Next, please take a look at this. What to expect? Square Enix. Final Fantasy or Kingdom Hearts? Oh, Octopath Traveler? Look, I, I get the art style, but I just feel like it's maybe getting a little overrated. The 2D character in the 3D world concept. It looks neat and all, but I don't know. There's just something about the graphics that just get a little overrated in my eyes. But then again, what should I know? I can tell by the voice acting that the story is pretty interesting. Not again. Not the stench. The stench of blood. <laughs> Doubt is what I do. Leave the hunting to me. You'll have all the tasty meat you want. I need to rediscover who hmm. I am. Explore a wide world set in a bustling era. Oh, wow. Each traveler's path action differs between day and night. So, uh, has anyone played Octopath Traveler? What will happen when their paths intertwine? I'm still mixed on it, but it does look like a really good game. Just that the art side just seems a little off. What adventures await them in this new world? Always going for a diorama look. The eight travelers each have their own story to tell. Where will their journeys lead them and you? Okay. Octopath Traveler 2 launches on Nintendo Switch February 24th, 2023. What you just saw was Octopath Traveler 2 from Square Enix. Please look forward to the journeys of eight new heroes. Hmm. 
Let's see some more headlines. What else do we have? A magical home is waiting for you. Another farm simulator or life simulator here. Life in Fay Farm. Cultivate your home. Called it Farm Simulator. And forge everlasting friendships in this farm simulation RPG. Discover magical spells to grow crops. Face off against mischievous foes. And explore the enchanted realms of Azoria. Along okay. Way, you'll befriend a lively cast of characters who call this island their home. Tend and grow your fairy tale farmstead solo or together with up to four players in local or online multiplayer. By gathering Not resources bad. and crafting items, you'll be able to customize your home and enjoy this mesmerizing adventure even more. Okay, so it's, it's like turning Animal Crossing into an RPG. New spellbinding surprises can be unlocked that'll help you restore Azoria to its natural splendor. Magic awaits in hmm. Bay Farm. Launching exclusively on Nintendo Switch, Spring 2023. Next. It's a musical blast from the past. Celebrate the 35th anniversary of the Final Fantasy series with the latest theater rhythm game. Enjoy iconic songs like One Winged Angel. Rhythm games. Torn from the heavens. So Anyone else miss Guitar Hero? 385 songs total songs are categorized by game so you can play each stage while experiencing the series through the music wasn't there a similar one based on kingdom hearts players locally can complete stages in pair style well different design obviously but battle to the beat in online multi-battle theater rhythm final bar line begins its symphony on the nintendo switch system february 16th 2023 pre-orders begin today on nintendo eShop okay after the game's launch pay dlc songs from the saga series near series near two huh octopath traveler of course live alive and more will be released that's 90 additional songs plus additions containing a season pass and 27 extra songs including melodies of life that's a lot over 900 songs yeah, I might have to edit some of these parts out. Cosmic adventure is just around the corner. Yeah, Mario and Rabbits. Blast off on an adventure of galactic proportions with Mario and the Rabbits. Let's dive into exploration. Freely roam through all sorts of wondrous worlds, each one jam-packed with discoveries. Find coins. Unlock hidden paths and help out the locals with their troubles okay yeah. now i know the um mario rabbits crossover was a kind of a surprise hit so team will earn rewards and get stronger sparks are here to lend a helping hand this feels so awkward to see look rayman characters in a, in a mario game speaking of which i do know that rayman is kind of a dlc put an end to the darkness Mario plus rabbit sparks of hope launches on Nintendo switch October 20th pre hey. are available now on Nintendo eShop a gold edition can also be pre-ordered containing the base game weapon skins and a season pass hmm what else do we have peace between humans and monsters Rune Factory 3 returns on Nintendo Switch. Rune Factory. Take a break from quests to chat with the locals, cultivate crops, and care for... It's another one of those farming RPGs. Other relaxing activities. You can also what else is new? Into a monster? Your abilities in battle and conversations with the locals will vary depending on your form. Your choices will also cause different events to occur. Hmm. A brand new mode has been added to help you enjoy more quality time with your in-game spouse. Rune Factory 3 Special launches on Nintendo Switch next year. All right. <coughs> Plus, 
Plus, a new Rune Factory series will launch in the future. Okay. More N64 games on the way. Which ones? Sweet! I have the original. <laughs> yeah, the one that really destroyed uh, controllers. Mario Party games are fun. Well, the, the first three. They're still fun to check out. I remember beating Pokemon Stadium years ago. Pokemon Stadium 2 has a bit of a learning curve. Nice. At least they're bringing that one back. Thank you. These games will gradually be added in the future. You can play a selection of Nintendo 64 games and enjoy We need more 1080 and Excite Bike and Pilot Wings. Online Plus expansion pack membership. Oh, and there's one more game we should mention. Which one? No way. Oh my god! They finally cleared the rights! Golden Eye! <laughs> yes! Why not mix things up with these Nintendo Switch games? Live your best life on the newly discovered continent of Antoesia in this immersive RPG. Perform over 100 types of daily tasks to build character and deepen your relationships with the locals. In doing so, you'll gain access to different job classes and abilities. More RPGs that are a grand adventure in either a grand adventure or an RPG sim. You know, you when you see one, you see them all. So, so it's really hard to like see the, the uniqueness behind these the, these RPGs. In this management sim game, scour the planet for materials, then build machines to refine them into various resources. Eventually, you'll construct multiple production lines like. And it has a sort of a futuristic Sim City vibe. Creatures will attack, so keep them at bay. Factorio launches on Nintendo Switch October. Okay. 20. A young girl named Ib. Visits an art museum with her parents in this 2D exploration adventure. Play is wanders through a busy gallery by the artist Guertena. Hmm. One particular piece draws her in. Will she be able to safely return to her own world? Every decision affects her fate in Ib. Launching on Nintendo Switch Spring 2023. This is almost like a darker version of Undertale. Strikers Battle League, where eight players locally on one system can get gritty, is getting a second free update. Okay. Joining the roster are Pauline. Yes! After Daisy, they had to introduce someone else. But finally, Pauline gets to shine. And Diddy Kong, too. Cool. With dazzling techniques and high pass accuracy. Plus, more gear and another stadium are being added. The second free update launch. Who else is missing? I mean, I can't say no to Pauline. The final summer begins. Another RPG with farming mechanics, right? When strange islands suddenly appear, Risa and friends set sail to investigate in order to protect their homeland from impending danger. Sprawling landscapes set the stage for your adventure. Kinda has that Breath of the Wild vibe, doesn't it? Forge your own path in this charming RPG. At least this one looks more presentable. Eleven heroes from all walks of life will join your party. During battle, work with your allies to activate various skills, which can be swapped out when needed. Teamwork is paramount after all. Right. New features are also in store. The keys to this lively adventure are in your hands. Atelier Ryza 3, Alchemist of the End, and the Secret Key. At least this one gets my attention the most. Maybe because of the visuals. Wave 3, Mario Kart 8. 
Here's a sneak peek at two courses racing into wave three. Mary Mountain from Mario Kart Tour. Okay. Uh, when it comes to Mario Kart 8, I only have the one that's on the Wii U. But now I I have no choice but to get Mario Kart 8 on the on the Switch. I'd love to check out the DLC tracks. So, who needs Mario Kart 9? DLC for the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game launches this holiday. Active Nintendo Switch Online Plus expansion pack members can enjoy this DLC at no additional cost. All right. The DLC can also be purchased on its own. Okay. How was that? Next, we have some news to share about Nintendo Switch Sports. In the next what else do we have? Update, golf will be added. Okay. 21 holes. Of course, you can play these locally. Additionally, up to eight players online can play at the same time on the same course in survival golf. Those with the most strokes will be out. We previously announced that the update... Sometimes I just don't get what's the obsession with, with, with golf. Unless it's just a relaxing sport, but... Mm, it's alright. Please wait just a little longer. Next, we have a special guest. Mr. Miyamoto! You're gonna talk about the movie, aren't you? Konnichiwa, Miyamoto-san. I have a few things I'd like to share with you today, including some news. First, as you may have heard, the Super Mario Brothers animated movie we're developing with Chris Melodandri from Illumination will release next spring. Okay. And Super Nintendo World, which is entering its second year at Universal Studios Japan, will also open in Hollywood, California, in the U.S. Yeah, it's going to open eventually. On the finishing touches for both. Okay. Today, I'd like to talk a little bit about Pikmin. Pikmin, huh? It's been over 20 years since the first game, and we're still working on the series. So there's going to be a Pikmin 4? This is Pikmin Bloom. It's a smart device game we started with Niantic late last I've year. I've heard of and that, yeah. All over the world are planting flowers. Here's a quick rundown of the game for those who have yet to play it. Pikmin Bloom is a smart device game that uses your location. By walking outside, you can find Pikmin, raise them, and plant flowers together. I don't think this is going to uh, surpass Pokemon Go. On your daily walks or outings. You can look back at the end of the day and see where you walked. Send out Pikmin and collect the items they found that day. And feed them nectar to increase their petals. So how hmm. many steps did we take today? Yeah, this is just a game encouraging to, to encouraging people to step outside. Photos with Pikmin. Pikmin are all around you. Let's take a quick look at my screen. <coughs> nearly 700 Pikmin. Yeah, that's a lot. Nectar. If you give Pikmin nectar like you see here, their flowers will bloom. You'll also see the number of steps you've taken that day. Regarding the map, the clouds will clear along the path you walk, so you can keep a record of locations you've visited. I normally move around within Kyoto, but I've also been going to Osaka, to Universal Studios Japan. I occasionally go to Tokyo as well. You'll say to yourself, okay, this time I'll try walking here. It makes trips and walks a lot of fun. Yeah, the game is literally encouraging you to walk, to go outside. I hope you'll try it out. Okay, now to the main event. Please take a look at this. You're probably going to talk about the Mario movie. Or is this Pikmin 4? Yep, Pikmin 4. So Pikmin still has a life. The IP is still alive and well. That's right. 
Pikmin 4 will launch in 2023. We won't be showing any gameplay today. However, you'll be able to play. Uh, what's with the red Pikmin? From the Pikmin's perspective, near the ground. I also made a new T-shirt. Nintendo Switch has okay. made controlling the game simpler, meaning you can further concentrate on the core essence of Pikmin gameplay. We call it Dandori in Japanese, or strategically planning, deploying, and commanding the Pikmin. I hmm. think you're all looking forward to Pikmin 4. Thank you, Mr. Koizumi. I had a feeling that Pikmin 4 was going to be in development at some point. I've only tried to finish the first one. I have played the others. Just never really finished them. Pikmin is really tricky to get get into. Oh boy. We're talking dancing games. I'm going to have to lower the volume here because of copyright. No, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, I'll have to lower the volume. I'll have to lower the volume and speak a little more because I don't want this part to get... Um, copyright claim just because of the music because that's something that really gets annoying in reaction videos and of course we have more um <laughs> more copyrighted music i have to speak over it because you know how these people can get regarding the licensed music in the background so <clears throat> yeah it's just more just dance i'm guessing Just Dance 2023. Okay. <laughs> yeah, let me go back up then. Can you survive the season of death? Another RPG form game. Ugh. They just I've said it before. When you've seen one, you've seen them all. I'm seeing a pattern here. Why are all RPGs now are obsessed with being farm sims? Along the way, allies with different motives will join your cause. While facing numerous dangers, you'll begin to uncover the truth of this ill-fated world. After this presentation, a demo containing the opening days of your farm's first season will be available on Nintendo eShop. Save data can be transferred to the Okay, look. Game if you're going to make a, an RPG, are you going to farm or are you going to fight? I've seen several of these. It gets kind of boring already. Ah, but you need a three. After 500 years, Umbra Witch Bayonetta was revived in the present day. In the first Bayonetta game, she clashed with angels. I actually have the first two games in the Wii U. And in the second, confronted demons to save her best friend. I haven't finished them yet. Now, in this third installment, she'll fight to protect the world from the sudden invasion of man-made bioweapons called homunculi. She's gone from fighting for herself to fighting for others to fighting for the world. I have faith that Bayonetta 3 is going to do really well. Their past histories with Bayonetta to fight alongside her include the journalist Luca and another Umbra witch, Jean. Hey, new ally Viola also joins in on the action. A hair raising demon summon. Okay, these uh, supporting characters just remind me of Devil May Cry, maybe DMC5. Launching on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Okay. After today's Nintendo Direct, a new trailer delving more into gameplay will launch on our official YouTube channel. Nice. <clears throat> a dark fantasy mystery abounds from the creators of Danganronpa. I think I've heard of them. Welcome to the city of perpetual rain. Many cases remain unsolved in this corporate controlled metropolis. Those who investigate are called master detectives who come from all around the world. Mm. What? Meet Yuma, an amnesiac detective. 
and Shinigami, the spirit haunting him after their pact. Shinigami? Dive into these unsolved cases as a trainee at the detective agency. There's always going to be some kind of a particular waifu in this thing. To gather clues and evidence. Now it's a ghost waifu. When you're ready, Shinigami will conjure a realm tying the crime scene to the truth. A mystery labyrinth. Overcome obstacles and manifestations of mysteries to edge closer to the actual events. It reminds me of Persona, to be honest. Phantoms will attempt to hinder your progress during each case. Avoid their barrage of falsehoods and slash through contradictions. Uncover the secrets of Master Detective Archives Rain Code, launching first on the Nintendo Switch system, Spring 2023. All right. Enter the village if you dare. Resident Evil Village has been ported, or is this going to be a cloud port? The latest installment in the Resident Called it. Evil series is coming to Nintendo Switch as a cloud version. No, 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 no. Say no to cloud ports. Ethan Winters must face the horrors of the village and its four fearsome lords to rescue his abducted daughter. Cloud ports are just an excuse for not porting the game thoroughly. Launches on Nintendo Switch October 28th. Say no to cloud ports. Try out the free demo today on Nintendo eShop to pre-order the full game. The Winter's Expansion DLC containing a new third-person mode, additional story content, and more will launch December 2nd. Additionally, three other recent entries in the Resident Evil series will be available as cloud versions on Nintendo Switch. This uh, I, I, if that's the case, I'd rather play it on PC. I don't really trust cloud gaming. of Nintendo Switch games. Vanquish foes to avenge your father in this slow clap. action brawler. Deepu. By thrusting, tripping, and parrying opponents, you'll break their stance and gain the upper hand. Huh. Fall in combat and you'll get older and weaker. In turn, however, older and weaker new techniques to complete your mission. Can okay. you exact revenge before your time runs out? Sifu pummels its way onto Nintendo Switch November 8th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Experience hmm. events leading up to Final Fantasy VII in this exhilarating action RPG. Crisis Core is getting ported. A young and ambitious soldier operative aspiring to Wait, th this was the game that was on the PSP, right? With Sephiroth and Cloud, he investigates strange... Yeah, this was on the PSP. This remaster features enhanced HD graphics, an updated combat system, huh. and new soundtrack arrangements. Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion launches on Nintendo Switch December 13th. Wow. The classic arcade shooter, Radiant Silver Gun. Radiant Silver Gun is coming to Nintendo Bullet Switch. Hell. Okay. Fire different types of weapons to take down waves of enemies. Defeat multiple enemies of the same color for a chain bonus. Or take down differently colored ones for a secret bonus. Rack up these bonuses for a high score. Got that. Yeah, it's got that Ikaruga vibe. Bullet hell indeed. Recruit a team of shipwreck heroes. Endless dungeon. Make your way out of a derelict space station in this roguelike game set in the endless hmm. universe. But it's not as easy as it sounds. You'll have to fend off continuous waves of monsters as you make your way through procedurally generated levels. Complete various quests to unlock new heroes, weapons, station areas, and more. Up to three players in online co-op can attempt to escape their grim fate. Do you have what it takes? Endless Dungeon launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Looks alright. What else do we have? The journey of world regeneration begins anew. Regeneration. Remaster of Tales, Tales of Symphonia. Symphonia. Oh, wow. The world of Silverant is controlled by shadowy forces. Another example that GameCube games can be ported in this thing. A person known as the Chosen One must ascend the Tower of Salvation. I have played Tales of Symphonia, but it's again one of those games that I've never finished. With Colette, the current Chosen One and his childhood friend in this beloved action RPG. Called classic, you could say. But I know there are many other um, tales of games. 
lost her emotions after an experiment. Prisea. Other allies will also join the party. I need to get back on Tales of Symphonia. The fate of two interconnected worlds hangs in the balance. Tales of Symphonia Remastered begins... Okay, the last RPG I managed to finish was Grandia 2. But Tales of Symphonia, I have never even finished yet. Hmm. I might have to lower... Whoa, 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 whoa. Lower the volume, lower the volume. Yeah, just in case that this becomes another one of those copyright songs that are just included in the direct, just to sum everything up. Let's see, Romancing Saga. Okay. Lego Brick Tales. Some developers just love the diorama concept. Ever since Captain Toad, huh? Disney Speedstorm. Yeah, this is the Mario Kart clone. Fall Guys Season 2. Okay. Yeah, I've been, I actually have uh, played Fall Guys. It's uh, quite a challenging game about who can, who can survive and stay on top. Whoa, we got Kirby. Incoming Kirby. Kirby's return to Dreamland Deluxe is coming to Nintendo. Oh, oh, oh wow. One day, a spaceship crash lands on planet Popstar. To help Magalore return to his This was on the Wii, right? Or is this a 3DS game? On an adventure. In addition to sword, whip, and other familiar copy abilities, the new mecha copy ability makes its debut. Ah. Those from a distance or punch them up close. I'm pretty sure I saw this either on the Wii or the 3DS. The game supports local play for up to 4 players on the same system. It's on the Wii. It was on the Wii. Plus, everyone can play as Kirby while using their favorite copy abilities. Has to be a Wii game. There's also a collection of sub games to play. This includes the new sub game Magalore's Tome Trackers. And returning ones like Oh, I love that one. All sub games that was in the Super Nintendo version. Players. I think it was Super Kirby Superstar. I think that was the name. An adventure of deluxe proportions awaits. Kirby's return to so many Kirby games to check out, so little time. Nintendo Switch system, February 24th, 2023. Pre orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. As part of Kirby's 30th anniversary, a remake of Kirby's Return to Dreamland will be released. We hope you're looking forward to this game. Thank you for watching today's Nintendo Direct. And no F Zero. So much for that. This next trailer will be our last announcement. Please take a look. It's probably Zelda or Metroid. Zelda. Game for it's not final. Hmm. Hieroglyphics explaining the lore of the events of the past. Okay. Breath of the Wild 2. Breath of the Wild has become Castle in the Sky. Yeah, it's like combining elements of uh, Breath of the Wild with like Skyward Sword, I guess. Tears of the Kingdom. That's what it's going to be called. Fascinating. At least the title's unique. Hey, May 12th. That's a game I'm definitely going to buy. Well... Um, a lot to take in, mostly RPGs. 
There were some surprises, but I expected a little more. Though I do have to say, um, when it comes to RPGs, what is it with RPGs these days and just throwing in farm simulation too? I mean, if you're going to do an RPG, is it fight or farm? I get it. You need to, to farm crops to, um, you know, to at least feed your, your party when it comes to battle, because you never know what, what might happen. But it seems a little forced, just seeing all these uh, farming mechanics uh, getting involved. But I don't know. Uh, give me your thoughts about these uh, other RPG games that have been announced, uh, aside from the older ones. Um, hope you guys enjoyed here the uh, presentation, the reaction video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Of course, leave a comment down below. And uh, I'll keep you posted for when I uh, upload any other content, aside from these reaction videos, of course. This was a... Kind of a surprise reaction video. You know how they always give you like, uh, usually like uh, 24 hours in advance. But there you go. That's Nintendo for you. So um, I'll see you guys in the next vid. And I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye.